Firebase database for, okay, all right. All right, I'm just redo this one. Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode in the Firebase database for SQL developer series. And in this lesson, I'm going to take a relational model that you'd see in a SQL database and then convert that to a NoSQL model that works well for the Firebase database. So let's dive on down to the laptop. So this is a relational model that backs an event website that allows users to sign up for events. To model this relationally, we will create a users table, an events table, and an attendees table. Attendees is a table that relates users to events. What creates this relation is called a foreign key. A foreign key is a key in one table that references a primary key in another table. In this case, the UID key in attendees is a foreign key for the users table, and the same goes for event ID, which is the foreign key for the events table. If you want to get a list of attendees for a given event, you would write a SQL query that looks like this. Here we're joining all three tables to get the relevant data needed for this query. We're joining using foreign keys. Attendees is joined to events using the event ID key, and users is joined using the UID key. So how would we model this in a NoSQL fashion? The Firebase database is a NoSQL JSON database, which means that your data is structured by using JSON. Moving from a relational model, you might be tempted to do something like this at first. First, we'd create a user's key, where each child key is a primary key for each user. So one is the primary key for David, and nine is the primary key for Alice. Then we have an events key, where each child key is a primary key for each single event. So FM is the event for the Firebase meetup. Now for a first try, you know, this is pretty good. But there is one problem. The attendees key is embedded within each event. And this is a problem due to the way the Firebase database loads data. When you retrieve data, you specify a path. To retrieve a single event, we would create the path events slash FM. Now, the Firebase database will bring back every single piece of data underneath that path, which may not be what you want, because you don't want to download the attendees just to display a list of events. Rather than embedding the attendees, we can break them out to their own root key in the database. Now I've created a new collection called event attendees at the root of the database. This collection uses the event ID key and the UID key to represent each user. This makes my data structure flat, which is a good thing, because it means I don't have to download my attendees every single time I download an event. But if I do need my attendees, I can do that because I'm using the same key, which is event ID. And this is how you would create a Firebase query using the Firebase SDK. First, you will create two references one to the events location, and one to the event attendees location. You'll notice too that we're using the same key in each collection. FM is a primary key for the event, so when used with event attendees, it's like a foreign key. Now to retrieve the data in real time, I'm gonna create a listener on each reference. And I'm breaking the listeners out because we can actually render to the view independently. And this is much easier than creating an inner listener that acts as a join. A value listener works best for the single event because value events work really well when you're synchronizing objects, and a child listener really works well for the attendees because attendees is a list and child events work well for lists. And just like that, you've gone from SQL to NoSQL with the Firebase database. And that's all for today. Tune into the next lesson where we're going to take a look at common SQL queries and then convert them to Firebase queries using the Firebase SDK. So that's all. I will see you all in the next lesson. Thanks for watching our video. Yeah, we really appreciated it. You should watch this video too. And this one. Yeah, and make sure that you subscribe. It's really cool.